What is up YouTube, Lazy Llama here, and here we are to a new game to the channel. It's an old game, it's been requested multiple times, um, I know I have to play it, I've never really looked into it, I know it was like a really old idle game, uh, or incremental game, I believe around the same time of like Cookie Cooker, I don't know that for a fact, but it's called Trimps, here we are. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting this game, I've said it was coming eventually, and I've just put it off and put it off and put it off, but here we are. Anyways, a green shimmer erupts, then disappears, you hit the ground, you look pretty hungry. So we're going to gather food. Oh. Okay, I was going to say, you need some wood to build. So I'm like, wait, do I have to wait eight minutes? This is going to be a real interesting series. But let's go. Oh. You like choose what you want. So we got a little bit of food. So you only have one thing going. Okay, uh, maybe there's something meaty and delicious to trap here. Traps. Each trap will allow you to catch one thing. So it needs 10 wood. Oh, did I make one? Oh, it's in the queue. I'm curious. Um. Oh, I get it. I get it. So I was really lost there. Wow. Wow, did that get me. Um, check traps? So I only have the one trap. So it's like a building queue. Can I keep things going? No, you can't. You can only do one thing at a time. Uh, there's a weird impish little creature in the trap. Uh, a trimp, you decide to call it. Okay, so they're imps. Got it. Imp-like creatures. Um, since you're creative, you could probably train this trimp to help out. Five workspaces. Jobs. Farmer. Train one of your trimps. It didn't, doesn't, like, doesn't say how much you need. Five food, it actually does say. Um, so employed. So we have a trim. We can catch a total of ten trims, but we can only have five working. So is he, he is gaining food, but I can also gain food. So that's how long it'll take to max, I believe. Uh, and I can add another one in. And it'll make both. Sweet. So let that finish. And this is still going. I don't know if he'll disappear. No, that's just how much we have. Okay. Okay. I think I'm getting this. I'm getting this. This is actually pretty sweet sounding. Um, the way this seems like it's going to work. Um, this planet feels similar yet so foreign. Uh, maybe it's time to start looking for science -y things. Apparently, the trims breed if they're not working. Doesn't look pleasant. Oh, God. So I have three. Breeding 0.2 a second. That's going to take so long. We should probably grab some science. Figure out how to teach the shrimps to kill some bad guys. 10 science. I don't know if we want that or more traps. I guess just letting them do their thing. And it looks like you have unlimited science. Let's train them how to. Okay. Or what is it good for? Okay, this is going to get crazy. Trimps. We have one, but we have three. Fight zone one, sell one. So it's so and so one. Can I like change that? No, we have to like fight it first. Okay. So you've been in the zone for four minutes. Uh, send your poor trims to a certain doom in the battlefield. You can get cool stuff. Uh, though they'll understand. Okay. So I feel like we want more trims first. I'm assuming, right? We should probably get a lumberjack. We have actually made one. It looks like. Now I can make another trap, build a trap, but I can't do this. Oh, I can. So I have five of them now. Check the trap. Does it always trap one? Two employed. So I can have five employed. And then, okay. All right, all right. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Let's go to fight with one. Trims first. Uh, <laughs> Elephimp. Okay. So this is us. I'm assuming we get food, then wood, and then a mystery. If we can beat it, which we don't. Um, oh, it actually tells you exactly what's going on. You can, it looks like you can sort by like combat or story. 
or oh you can turn them on or off okay we, we lost him he, he croaked um you seem very happy to see this lamb came with free okay so it looks like we can continue on but we need more trims we're breeding a ton of them like i feel like i should do that and then put one more in here and then i have two breeding so actually oh activating fire mode okay it's a fire one so three breeding I'm assuming you at least need two to breed, so I'm going to send another one out there. And he's going to continue. What do you find? You found a plane, a plans for a shield. So we can do that. Can I do that while this is going on? Oh, I did. It looks like it, it didn't have to queue it. Shield level one. I would, okay. So we need more wood to do it. So can I do this while I'm doing other things? And make a trap build no it does stop you rated you do something else which is weird i mean i guess not i guess we just keep sending them out to battle i'm still a little confused on exactly what i'm doing um it doesn't seem like these little guys will fit into your ship luckily you remember how to make small huts for shelter so it looks like we're going to be making huts or something we can make another shield thing so it just adds four health to each one that turkish imp was delicious you have leftovers so it's a buff okay bloodlust oh we should probably be doing science then so why is this red is that because i'm almost maxed trade one bone oh my this game looks complex and I like it. Uh, bone Trader, you have one bone. Uh, you can earn bones by progressing the world. Cool, cool, cool. I will have a link to this in the description, by the way, for anyone who's looking to play it. Um, I'm going to probably look through this afterward because it looks like you need a lot of bones. But you can get exotic imps and stuff. We'll worry about that later. Um, we gotta get fighting because we have to. Can we send multiple out there? We cannot. I guess let's hire another one here. So we just have to constantly be out there. And I can't have science going at the same time. We'll research that. So that learned how to make huts. Um, so actually, now I wanna fire this guy and then hire another farmer because we need more, more of that. Auto fight off. Allow trims to start fighting on their own whenever the town gets overcrowded. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. So is this still, yeah, this is still zone one. All of this looks like it's zone one. Okay. I haven't done anything with metal, but we haven't needed it yet. Um, I don't really want to spend wood. What does this do? It has room for three. Oh, so this literally lets me have more um, trims. So I'm assuming we're going to build a ton of these guys. But we should always pretty much have another guy out. We could still only have five employed. We're going to have to figure that out eventually. We can make a hut. So let's build a hut. It's going to take 10 seconds. We're cool with that. You definitely can set up like multiple things. I don't know what the point of a trap would be anymore. Um, but. Oh, I thought I said I did three. Has room for three more lovely trims. Which was, why did it go from 10 to 18 then? I don't get that. It does let me employ more, which is exactly what I want. So I think I'm going to turn auto fight. Oh, actually, auto fight doesn't go on unless it starts to overcrowd. So this is why we want more traps. So I can just build up a ton of them. I'm going to do that real quick. And it set the building as my, okay, I get it. Okay, so you leave it as building. That's why you can't do multiple things because you're either building or you're doing one of these things. A dagger, we need metal for, we'll worry about that. That's two extra attacks. So right now we're doing four to eight damage and we have 58 HP. I like it, I like it. It's all coming together now. Now it definitely is. The tro bone trading, um, so basically this is just a boost thing that lets you do things that, I mean, we haven't even learned about a lot of this stuff yet. 
Again, I really, really care about learning, reading all that right now. We're definitely a ways away from that. We only have one bone, so I don't see that happening anytime soon. There is a stat page, which we can see battle ones, battle loss, maps cleared. Um, cool, I got a little donate link if you want to donate to the game. Sweet, sweet. Um, we have all those traps, so if we just check them now. But now I can put another lumberjack, another one of these, another one of these and another farmer build another little shield build another little shield sure we'll put all our wood into there and we'll do that we will mine up a little bit because we don't have any of that auto fight is on but they're not out there actually fighting now again auto fights only if it's about overcrowd so leaving that on like overnight you're definitely gonna make a lot of progress having that definitely level up the shield again it brings up our hp by what for each time so it's pretty good and that doesn't need metal at all. This needs 40 metal, which we're almost at, which will actually give us more damage, which is sweet. Um, there's no need to actually get more science, and we already have more traps than we would need, because if I check them, they're not actually going to do anything for me. So it doesn't auto-send until afterward. So he's probably not going to... Oh, actually, it looks like he might die within that time anyways. But we're probably wanting to get... Um, more huts would be the idea to build more huts up because more huts equals obviously more trims more trims equals more everything this game revolves around building up trims and you, it looks like you uh, this bad guy oh it says what they are I say, it looks like you can fast forward but no that's not what it meant but now it's the 21 so that time it actually went up by 3 why did the first time it jump up so much I mean I'm not complaining I guess but like I just don't understand. Put another one in there, and I guess we throw another farmer out there. Um, right now, it seems like actually wood is. Oh, we need a lot of both. It seems like they, I think they get more expensive each time too. Could be wrong, but it's cool because it says how many seconds away you are. So miners, we can we can learn how to do miners, but we need a lot of wood and a lot of metal. I'm assuming you get things eventually. I think it said something in there about barns, which I'm assuming uh, bring up the max capacity of these you can have because right now we're going to pretty much have max everything um you can't get max science so i think researching that overnight's the way to go uh we need a hundred metal let's try to make that happen real quick because if i can get at least one miner overnight i'll be in pretty good spot it's pretty late right now and we're looking to wrap this up shortly if you guys are enjoying this definitely think i can smack the like button let me know if this is something you guys want to see it seems very interesting um seems pretty cool um, obviously, we're only going to make so much progression overnight because, um, you know, you can only have up to so many and it's not going to auto buy things and whatnot. But uh, I'll probably leave it on research overnight. I don't know if there's any kind of like prestiging. There's our barn. Okay, it's max. So that's just for food. We want to get this miners real quick. So we have the wood. You know, it says we don't. We need 300 wood and we have. Oh, wood. <laughs> looking at food um yeah that would that would make sense that would be the problem scientists we can also earn scientists okay i mean let's get miners first and then we need to research science i should probably fire the farmer and put a miner in i mean building more huts obviously would be like one of the best things we could do right now our food is like insane right now um, and we're researching because we want to get scientists going. Okay, okay, I'm liking it. And again, while this is all going on, we are progressing through here and earning things, I guess. I think we earn actually food just by doing this. So we're only getting one of these per second, but we're getting four wood a second. Even though we have eight lumberjacks, it's 0.5. So it's 0.5. So this doesn't say 0.5. Um, but we do get the miner. The one miner, I think, is okay for now. Um, and this would just increase food capacity. I don't know if that's necessarily what we want. This does need 350 food. This will use 125. We will still have plenty. Let's get that built. I'm assuming we maybe even get builders. But it looks like you can sort by each individual thing here, which is pretty cool. It's like this, again, just uses wood, which I don't think we need for that. No. That gives us twice the amount of space there. Um, but yeah, we're actually getting 
an excessive amount of wood now. I don't know why it goes yellow. I'm not really sure. But science, uh, that's what we should, we should be doing. I want to get a scientist real quick. So we got a shed now, which is our maximum wood. I mean, it, it all kind of makes sense. I mean, it 100% makes sense. Um, it seems like we're finding things out here. So you have to progress in the map to unlock all of these things is what it seems like to me. Um, we're almost at 100 here too. I just want to get this guy done. Maybe another hut built. Um, is it to like buy multiple things? Yeah, it is. But we'll get scientists there. Cool. That gives us a little bit of everything. Um, how much are we need for a hut? We're missing food. Uh, a lot of that comes down to my um, mistake there. And then probably fire one more of these and hire a scientist just to get a little bit of science. These guys produce. Oh, we're researching it still. That's why. Why do these not say points? Oh, now they are. They weren't before. Oh, we used up all the food, huh? Used up all the food, huh? Oh, and you can just build more and more of these. So was that double that? So would that go to 2,000? Or will it go to 1,500 off the base value? No, it doubles 100% of where it's at. Speed miner will teach. You might say, okay, so that's something we're going to have to do. Um, I do want to wrap this up here. I don't want to go too long for a first episode of something. We have the traps here, which I think I'm just going to hang on to. I don't think they're super necessary. I think this is an okay spot. I would have liked to get another one of these. Um, going, but I'm not really too worried about it. I mean, I could do that. How long does that say it's going to take? 12 seconds. Yeah, let's get one more of the huts. Um, it looks like, did I actually build one? I must have. We got more space there, but we're going to let this kind of just do its thing. We can employ a couple more guys too to get things going. Science looks like it has like an infinite amount. So I think just researching a ton of science overnight is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my, my guy in this and then I'm going to probably move everything over to scientists overnight once these guys max their, their thing out, um, which is going to happen um, eventually. We're going to miss, I guess, a bit of the storyline, leaving it open, but uh, I'm assuming that's kind of the idea of the game still. Um, so yeah, get that built, and then I'll let these max out. Um, so we have a little bit of resources for next episode, and we'll have pretty much more science than we could ever need, is what I'm assuming. So yeah, 29 of those guys, we can, again kind of max out all of these things um, oh you can't build scientists unless you have oh you have to pay every time you build one ooh I didn't realize that I'm like just spamming over here like firing and stuff <laughs> um, does it get more expensive with each one no interesting Okay, so I guess the idea would be to get these two max first, uh, the miners and the wood, and then, okay, go from there, but I'll get all that worried out. Uh, anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make, take a second, smack the like button, and as always, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. We're going to at least give this a little bit of a trial, uh, try a couple episodes of it on the channel, see how it goes, and we'll go from there. All right, peace.